Here's the first look at the QX70 Infinity Logo light for the front grille. It was sent over in a box and this padded wrap here. Um, if we turn it around, you can see it's just two wires that are a pretty decent length that which I believe you could go ahead and tap into either your daylights or your actual headlight that way it turns on at the same time that you turn those on as you can see it is a 3m tape so from my understanding is that all you would need to do is use a, um, a knife or some kind of straight edge um, to go ahead and pry under the original logo of the grill and kind of tear the existing 3M tape, clean it up, putting this one through. There should be two holes where you go ahead and push these wires through and go ahead and take off this 3M tape and place it on. Uh, we'll see if it is that simple. Hopefully it is. It is really nice looking. I like the um, carbon fiber look of the backing there. So we'll go ahead and try to tackle this and see how it goes. Okay, here we are. So this is the QX. As I mentioned before, this is the front grille emblem. From my understanding, if you use a straight edge, um, something that could go ahead and pry in between the emblem, it's just held with 3M tape. So you should just be able to go ahead and put it in there and kind of go all the way around in order to take the 3M tape off in order to put the light on. So let's go ahead and try that and I'll go ahead and show you the aftermath. So after you've gone over the whole section of the logo, it should come off like this. There's two holes right here where I believe it indicates to go ahead and push those wires through. First, you wanna clean all this up and take off the existing 3M tape so that the new um, emblem has something to attach to. So let me go ahead and try cleaning this up first and we'll get back to it. Okay, so one thing I did notice for this one in particular, it looks like there's two holes where two separate wires should be coming out, but the way this one was designed, both were coming out of this one. So instead of putting one wire through each hole, you're gonna put both of them in the same one. That way this goes inside and you're able to tuck it and push it in without having any issues. Once you've pushed in the wire through the hole, you're gonna to wanna to remove the 3M um, tape thing here and push it firmly against the original plaque. Once you have it in, make sure you press firmly for 30 seconds or so. You just wanna make sure that the adhesive sticks on properly. And this is what it looks like on. Well, installed rather. Uh, again, make sure you hold it down for a decent amount of time. That would make sure that it does stick properly. The adhesive is on there nice and tight uh, because I'm pretty sure you do not want to lose this piece. Uh, next, I'll go ahead and try to wire it up to the existing lights by just well, tapping into the existing lights uh, to get this to function. Okay, then you can actually remove this plastic and pull them in. In. It makes it a little bit easier if you just remove this. Um, once you have it in, you can kind of mess with the, the your lights and see which you want to tap into. Uh, if I get this to focus, there you, go. you can see that I, I kind of tapped into two, and then I'm not knowing which one was the real the the one that was live. Uh, but I ended up using this one right here, which is. Uh, that color there you can see and I believe it is actually this bulb and then we grounded it right under here which is right there so you can see so ground and then tapped into the light using that wire right there you can see um, but again if it kind of depends on what you want it to turn on with you can kind of mess with your headlights at first I was kind of thinking of doing it with the fog light and having to turn on only with the fog light 
uh, but it's up to you. Um, this is what it looks like. Cool carbon fiber there, and I'll show you a video with it on.